that is the anatomy of the eyelid and we studied uh, the blepharitis style is known and three cases today we will be starting from that onward and i hope we have enough time this year alhamdulillah because of 22 lectures that uh, we will get get ample time to cover hopefully all the uh, curriculum of my so this uh but what we studied in the last lecture okay now from here we took the cases we studied and what is the cases it is misdirected eyelashes if this is my hand and these are the eyelash normal eyelashes if they are turned inward we call it our condition which is uh, trichiasis and it rots the cornea and if not treated properly it may cause corneal ulceration so today we will start with entropion inward rolling of the leaf margin is called entropion and is caused by disparity in length and tone between the anterior sea muscle and posterior tarsal conjunctival part of the eye if you see at the lower eye uh, it has got anterior it has got two lamina one is the anterior lamina one is the posterior lamina anterior lamina consists of uh, skin subcutaneous tissue and then on the gray line which is a uh, west area of the area and then the other layers that is the muscular layer and now uh, keeping this definition in mind you see if this if this is my hand and this you assume that this is my lower eye okay this is my lower eye and it is eyelid margin <coughs> if it rolls inward it is called Entropion, and if it, if, if it rolls outwards, obviously it will be called entropion. Now you can assume by common sense that what would be the possible symptoms of inward turning of the lid margin, not the lashes? What would be the possible symptoms when eyelid margin is rolled inward and outward? why it happens what is its pathophysiology it is a little bit tricky and uh, we see what are the causes uh, are you clear till now yes, sir. Yes, sir. do you understand the sequence the disparity in length and tone between anterior skin muscle and posterior tarsal Can part of the eye? No, I think no, na? Yes. Sir. Okay. This is very important because this is the basic of uh, perhaps this lecture. Entropion and entropion in skin. This is the outermost layer. If it is skin, then comes the subcutaneous tissue. tissue. Then comes the muscular, muscular layer. No, see, it's very. uh keen to understand what uh, what is the mechanical mechanism of uh, uh, this condition so this is the orbicularis muscle which is present in the third layer what happens in sinai uh condition or due to some other diseases uh, this muscle compresses the skin like this 
and the this is a margin this is also orbiculars okay this is also the orbiculars the difference is difference is this this the orbiculars which is present at the upper eyelid margin it is at the margin of the eyelid and the defect is present at the orbicularis muscle which is below the margin that is this part is not defective this part is defective so i have brought it here it compresses uh, uh, the pretarsal orbicularis muscle compresses the uh, posterior lamella and the eyelids will become rolled in i i uh, margin will roll inward <coughs> got it yes sir so it is the defect in the basically we we call it overriding overriding of the orbicularis muscle you will see in book in your books what is written is overriding of the preceptal orbicularis muscle so it is pretty uh, anyways i have tried for lot of times to get you to understand it can be involutional that is uh, aging it can be cytopatial it can be spastic or it can be congenital can you sorry okay involutional or sinaire proper is the most common type this is a general instability of the lid structures a weakness this is this is what i have just told you this is a weakness of the posterior retractors along with laxity of the cantal ligaments is seen this is an additional pathogenic uh, uh, this is the medial ligament medial cantal ligament no wise this is the medial cantal ligament this is the lateral lateral, uh, lateral cantal ligament they also become loose and uh, okay this is the main uh, main pathogenic which i explained you just uh, a few seconds ago preceptal orbicularis is a type firmly to tarsus but attachment of the preceptal orbicularis are less and the tendency of preceptal to override pretarsal orbicularis occurs lower border of the tarsal plate rotates forward and margin of the lid is rolled towards the groove is it the same thing with the torii with this example when you will read it two or three times you will be able to understand and please i don't want because i uh, the lecture is being recorded i don't want to say the name of any person so please be silent don't uh, uh, make uh, me to name someone okay when the lecture is over then we uh, will ask you and come here and whatever you want to say you can say loudly huh? yeah. now treatment when the eyelid eyelid margin is turned inward then what we uh, what uh, options we have or what we are supposed to do we will have to bring uh, bring the, uh, the the margin back to its original place and for that what we do number one lid inverting sutures that is we apply sutures in a special manner where you can see here not possible to oh, understand until you see the video by inverting the eyelid margin uh then proton is captured the only treatment for a proton or a proton is surgical there is no medical treatment okay yes, sir. are you people comfortable what i am talking yes sir yes. yes. or or it is difficult for you people to understand me my english accent <laughs> this procedure now please sir please back lecture now please is the name of the scientist 
I don't know. His father called him Lee's wise. I don't know. So what I know, uh, you can whatever you call it, I have seen. Uh, remember my teachers they used to call it a bees procedure. So one is bees working switches and one is the bees procedure. We will discuss this procedure when we do people will come in the clinical uh, patients. Now comes the second uh, call. Sagatitian entropy. Sagatitian comes from the word scarring. Scarring. Sagatitian contraction of the pelvic ventricula results in relative shortening of the inner torso ventricula lamina of the lid and inversion of the lid muscle. What does it mean? That is this part. If it is we are talking about the lower lid, this part or this part if we are talking about the upper eye. Some disease which causes scarring in this area. Now this is the eyelid and some disease like uh, you. Um, I think most of you people uh, must have listened about Steven Johnson syndrome. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, as it affects all the body, in eye it causes the formation of blisters and when they heal, they cause fibrosis. And this, this is the normal uh, position of the upper eyelid. When blisters will fibrosis, they will cause fibrosis and it will be like this. What we? Yes, sir. So this is the uh, entropion because of psychiatrization. She can get to scar. Okay? Yes, sir. And you can, the uh, trachoma is a disease which is now not very prevalent. Uh, in third world countries, uh, it was very prevalent. Urdu me se kehte tukre. Tukre. Ye, it is basically a chlamydial infection. Chlamydial infection. It used to be very common, but after the <coughs> inventions of antibiotics, especially sulfasita by group, it is now controlled all over the world, even in the countries which are even bad but more than us. And uh, uh, here, uh, chemical ones, yes, popular second issue can be why is a very common. Plastic surgery is in the form of lengthening of the posterior lid lamina, tarsal rotation, tarsal fracture, and skin grafting are the treatment options. So you can see this is the scarring. Can you see? Can you see this scarring? Yes, sir. This is causing the erosion of the endoderm. The treatment is obviously to give the incision here and remove the scar, and it's a plastic surgery. Let's move on. Spastic. Name suggests. I it is supplied by which term? It is supplied by which Because of shortage of time, uh, I don't want to, because you will be confused, definitely in it. It is supplied by seventh term. Or third term. It supplies the both, both, both are supplied. Okay? Or you carry the one that you Or you carry the supply by third nerve. Okay. And that is why when I closes, uh, uh, the third nerve supplies and the OPI is the muscle which is. Uh, like a purse and uh, circles and the uh, seventh nerve supplies the levator capillaries periods and it elevates now to go levator is supplied by the oculomotor nerve which elevates and 
special love, which is a seventh Kriya love, that supplies the organism. So, if it is irritated, irritable because of any disease, then it can go into spasm. Spasm of organic virus in response to irritation is the cause. Spastic and tropical is almost always restricted to low rate. <coughs> Remove the cause of irritation. Surgery is performed to create a reach of fibrous tissue in front of orbicularis to prevent the overriding of orbicularis. Uh, now, the surgical procedures of these things are not important to causes uh, you must uh, remember. Now, congenital entropy, as the name suggests, it's a very rare condition. What comes from here? Due to this genesis, now the name suggests that there is some deformation during the embryological life of the fetus. This genesis, the muscle is not developed properly. Due to this genesis of lower lead refractors or a developmental anomaly of the tarsal plate causing the lead water to turn in onto the growth, treatment should address the cause. Common differential diagnosis is epi uh, the shoulder, where I think it is very rare and just uh, uh, remember that it uh, is lost within a couple of, within a couple of years when the child grows up. And if it does not evolve, then we may go for surgical reaction. Any questions? No. Any answer? And now we come to the other part of uh, this disease. <coughs> we have to pass it and we just stop it. <coughs> 